This is a full body calisthenics home workout that consists of just three exercises and we're gonna dive into it right now. What is going on my friends, this is Jake of www.jgcalisthenics.co.uk and before I dive into it, I just want to mention that for the best guidance for building lean muscle, getting stronger and shredding off excess fat and the comfort of your own home with the use of calisthenics while you're training, then make sure you subscribe to the channel now and turn on post notifications because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday specifically for people like you my friend. And also if you've been watching my videos for a while and you've actually downloaded my free beginner calisthenics program at my website, also known as the Become a Lean Machine of Ease ebook, then I'd love to know what you thought of it how it helped you and where it could actually be better right as I'd love to get some feedback in that realm as it took me a lot of time to make and reduce so by having your feedback I can get more insight of how I can make more content to help you get more results in your health and fitness so with that said just send me a DM on either Facebook or Instagram which I'll link up right there and I'll send you the questions my friend Right, so the first exercise we're gonna to do to hit the upper body pulling muscles, all of the upper body pulling muscles, the back and biceps, is chest to bar arching chin ups, right? And so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start hanging from a bar in a dead hang, right? Palms supinated, facing towards us, right? And from there, we're going to retract and depress the scapula, pulling the shoulder blades down and back. And from there, we're gonna slightly arch our back and our chest back and pull up, right? Pulling the elbows down and back, right? Like we're trying to elbow someone behind us. So our chest, our sternum, meaning our lower chest area, makes contact with the bar, right? And once we complete that at the top, we're gonna lower down control, maintaining that arc and that slight angle, right? As I've mentioned, and return slowly to the dead hang and repeat what I've literally just said, for repetitions, right? Do you see what I mean? Because these slight tweaks to the chin up of, again, that first movement of retracting the scapula and pulling up so your chest, your sternum touches the bar, the rep only counts if your sternum touches the bar. Then of course, that is a lot harder than a regular chin up and will really grow your back and biceps relative to just doing regular chin ups over and over again. If this is too challenging, you can do this on parallettes or rings, right? By doing a chest to bar body rows, right? And the same progressions apply for body rows, which I have a tutorial on this exact exercise I'm talking about um, in this card, I'll link somewhere around here, right? And to add a further challenge, right, to the chest of bar arching chin up is that you can pull up and then pause at the top for a second or two, because again, that will further increase the intensity. So those back and biceps grow bigger and stronger. Now the second exercise to hit the upper body pushing muscles of the chest, shoulder and just triceps is a straight bar parallel dips, right? So start around with your hands shoulder width apart or just outside shoulder width apart and start with your scapula protracted and depressed. So like you're actually like pressing away from you um, with your elbows straight and your shoulders slightly externally rotated. So your elbow pits are facing forward, right? This is a great base to start with to ensure that you can complete the dip with proper form, right? And from there, you're going to bend the elbows back and lower down while keeping your shoulders pinned back so your chest is kept open, right? Because as you lower down, that will help you prevent rounding the shoulders forward, which we don't want to be happening, right? And once you reach to the bottom, that your shoulder mobility allows you. So for most people, around 90 degrees or just below 90 degrees is more than suffice. And from there, you can press up with force to the starting position and simply repeat for repetitions, right? If dips are too challenging, which you know, they are for all of us when we start out, right? I personally used to suck at dips for several months, right? Um, before getting into calisthenics, then we can start with push-ups, right? And again, I'll link up a full push-up tutorial um, around here on this card for you to check out because we've all got to start somewhere. And you don't have to be great to start, but you've got to start to be great, you know what I'm saying? And if this is too easy, you can actually shift your body weight back, so you're actually doing like a no feet push up, and this is also known as tucked planche push ups, which is an absolutely awesome exercise to grow the chest, shoulders and triceps bigger and stronger. And in fact, if you actually wanna see a full tutorial of this exercise specifically, then let me know down in the comment section below, and um, we'll see if we can make that happen in the near future. And now the third and final exercise for the legs. Have you guessed it? pistol squats, right? If we're doing just free exercises, we've got to make sure we're doing the exercise which are going to give us the largest gains in the least time possible, right? So with a pistol squat, squat on one leg, start with obviously bouncing on one leg. And as you lower down, right, with the working leg, you're going to keep your opposing leg straight and active, right? That will help you with stability, right? As you lower down and once you squat down to the full range of motion, press up and stand tall. And once you've done one side on one leg, make sure you do the other side for equal repetitions, right? 
As a pro tip, right, what you can do with pistol squats if you're struggling with balance is you can actually have your hands grip together, right, as this added tension will help with, you know, reducing those energy leaks so you can actually um, counteract the stability part that's required so you can actually be stronger and not actually have to hobble everywhere losing your balance because, again, by having your hands together, you can create more stability in your body while doing your pistol squats does that make sense and if pistol squats are too challenging which it certainly was for me right when i started and progressed with calisthenics right it takes a long time to build a good solid pistol squat and of course you can progress by starting with just simple unilateral squats like side to side squats and then actually progressing onto archer squats right where you're lowering down again like the pistol squat with the opposing leg straight and so again that will help you build good strength for squatting on one leg completely unassisted right and then for an added challenge right well i highly encourage you whether you've got weights or just get resourceful to get some extra external load to load the legs then you can simply do weighted pistol squats to further build the legs bigger and stronger right and whether you guessed it or not, I do also have a full tutorial of the Pistol Squat on this YouTube channel, which you can check out somewhere around here, as I'll link you to that, so you can master that one leg squat. And so in terms of structuring this workout into a cohesive, <laughs> a cohesive full body routine, with these three exercises, you could do something like, you know, a five by five, right? To have a combination of building strength and muscle at the same time. So five sets of five reps of each exercise, or maybe even adjust it to your goals and needs, whatever works best for you. Resting one to three minutes between each set of the exercise before moving on to the other. And there, you've got a simple full body exercise, training your entire body, all of your muscles, in just three exercises with Castex in the comfort of your own home, which is pretty cool, right? And as I said, if you have read my free beginner calisthenics program of Become a Lean Machine with V's and you've actually tried it out, then I'd love to hear your say and what you thought of the whole guide as a whole, what you found was most valuable, whether you got results with it yourself or where I can ultimately improve with it, right? Simply send me a DM on Facebook or Instagram and I'll send you the questions right your way, my friend. As always, your feedback, your support is always greatly appreciated. And so as I said, if you like this video, you enjoy my content, enjoy watching every single minute, every single second of this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of this routine. And if you gave this workout a try, I'd love to know what you thought. And if you've got any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to answer it for you, my friend. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this with a friend or friends you believe would benefit from these gains. And as that is enough for me today, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, my friend. And as a crew member of the Gains Through Express, keep moving forward. I'll see you next time. <laughs>